than 20 minutes ago, we put this little bowl of ice in the car, and as you can see, it's almost a little bowl of water right now. We'll check on our steak that's been sitting in there in a couple of minutes after you see this story about a dog found sitting in a car. Car was parked right here. And as you can see, there's, there's trees here, but not enough to shade. It was on her work break that Barbara Kopitanich noticed a little white furry head pop up from the floor of a car parked next to her. The poodle looked like this one, and she says it was panting pretty hard. From 2.30 till about 4 o'clock, the owner of the, the vehicle and the dog didn't even come down to check on the animal. Another one of my coworkers came down with some water for the dog, and by that time I already called animal control. The police eventually took the dog and left a notice on the owner's car and thanked Barbara for taking notice of a pup pent up in extreme heat. At 5 o'clock when I left yesterday, the car was still there, but no dog. We, we love our furs, but, <laughs> you know, days like, days like today, you, you have to keep your dog home. No matter how much you love your animal, you need to keep them home. The dog was taken to the Oakland County Animal Shelter and stayed overnight. The owner came and picked it up this morning, but she didn't leave without a talking to. So let's take a look here. Over 120 degrees in this car. We put a stake in the windshield, a little bit gray on the bottom. Some people might eat it like that. But there are things that you can do to keep your car cool. For example, you can pick up one of these shades, put it in your dash, cover up your things, make sure that stays cool, or crack your windows when you park. Let the air flow through, and always try to find a shaded parking space to keep your vehicle cool. The heat is lovely. It can be, but it also can be very dangerous. Live outside Broadcast House, I'm Glenda Lewis. Back to you.